Okay, welcome everyone. Let's will start our lesson four. Today lesson will go through LO4 learning outcome four. Be able today lesson is about learning outcome four, which is be able to analyze the stakeholder responses, organizational chain. So we'll discuss, you know, if we want to change in our organization and why change is important. Stakeholders is mean anybody who has any interest in the company is called stakeholders. Every stakeholders have own interest, own power, and so there are can be a conflict of interest. So when we change, maybe employer is looking his own interest to be changed, and then employees really don't like to change. So thus, you know, we need to discuss. Okay, so you have current knowledge about chain management up to now, and you can always good to be reflect, you know, how much we know about chain management. Okay, so today lesson indicative content is about the policies, powers, influence, individual and group, potential resistance to change. Why organization in our organization people not want to change? Okay, organization culture. What is meant by organization culture? Culture means norms, value. The way we do the business is called culture. So we have different cultural model. We not really looking detailed cultural model here, which we discussed in the previous lesson, cultural web. We can use the model cultural web and we can uh, hand, hand, so because here we can look around handy. Off, off state cultural dimensions. We can look around the cultural web. Okay, so these, you know, the models we can look around. There is a model called cage model. So these are for the cultural model. If you want to look around, you can explore it. Huh? So Handy mentioned the cultural, the culture, task culture, uh, task culture, yes. So that's, you know, we can look around groups. Culture is mean norms, value. Every organization have own culture. Our organization culture itself, organization structure, role and responsibility, policy. So if we want to, the, if the culture is good in our organization, supportive culture in place, that will help, you know, to change in, change in place effectively in our organization. Otherwise, it create a problem in the organization culture. So we can, Look around these model of culture if you want to explore it further we can so that's we can look around okay if we don't change it if we don't change according to the environment and what is happening in environment so we can't really sustain it's like think about in these uh, what's happened with these companies and recent lot of other company due to the covid 19 if we are still selling the thing traditional way COVID-19 put the lot of pressure on the companies where the money will come from to sustain. So it's a huge problem for the sustainability at the minute. That's why organization need to be changed according to the environmental changes, which is happen or happening. So that's, you know, so BHS not sustain, but the prime market is sustaining and growing company. So we need to be make sure we change according. So today lesson 4.1 is our assessment criteria. Assess the possible risk. What is the risk? Anyone knows? Just think about risk. Risk is mean the probability of happening something. Probability mean the chance of occurrence. Probability is always fall between zero to one. Yes. So risk can be positive and risk can be negative. A lot of people think risk is very risky. Risky is not mean always negative thing. You do the risk. Risk is the outcome can be positive and negative. Risk management. So risk we have always, any activity we do, we have a risk. Management is all about designing an environment to achieve the pre-selected objective. To achieve the pre-selected objective, we require management. Management is a process. Management is a task. Management is a discipline. Manage, if you're a manager, your task is to create the surplus. 
So the key elements of any management accounting role, the ability to identify the risk before they arise. Before they arise, we should have an ability. If we don't have that ability, we can't really, it's difficult to sustain in our organization. Then plan a strategy for controlling risk is a paramount. The consequences not doing this could be the business failure. The popular way of defining risk is an unrealized yet potential future losses arising from the present action or inaction. This sees the risk as the essentially negative factor. Definition may be more business would that the risk variability in the future cash flow. This sees the risk, risk both opportunity and the danger associated with uncertainty future events. This can be adverse downside exposure or the favorable expect, you know, upside potential on the organization objective. For example, if your variable rate loan, then you would be benefit from the interest rate drop, like at the moment we have a base rate, basic interest rate, which is set by the Bank of England in other part of the world is called State Bank, 0.01%. So lower interest rate. So it means more people prefer to be investment in the business. More economic activities can be boost. Loan, we can get the cheaper. Ideal people want to reduce their downside exposure while staying open to the potential for upside gain. One way doing there through the use of financial option, but these come from, come at a higher cost. Most financial directive, so yes, effective fixed future price. Interest rate, so eliminate the downside, the upside potential. Yes, the more workable definition is you, the standard concern of the risk. Okay, always risk equal to a probability, which is ability, a probability is the chance of occurrence times by the impact. So always look face. Okay, where the probability and the probability of the events occurring impact and the consequences of the firm even occur. For example, fire at the warehouse could be a major financial impact, how likely to be occur. But both aspects important to deciding how to manage the risk technology, some writers use the term true risk for downside the exposure. Some writers term uncertainty probability cannot be quantified and the term risk only when they can. Risk and return, we use the risk and reward. We generate the higher return business maybe to take more risk. In order to be competitive, risk return, a link converts, yes, not accepting the risk incurred imply the return from the different activities from the higher benefit. Being return, accepting the risk and benefit can be financed and minor decrease the cost. So intangible, better quality information, in both cases, these leads to the business being gained the competitive advantage. Okay, yes. Anybody, any question you can ask? Huh? Okay, so when you look the risk, you look around, is it the activities, Ability to gain the competitive advantage is a routine or high. Is it identify and develop and examine carefully? So when focusing the low risk activity result in the low ability to obtain the competitive advantage. So we need to be look around these and we need to be manage competitive advantage. What we have, you know, of course, investing money in research and development is quite risky. Maybe you generate really good innovative product or maybe you just develop understanding you not generate any new product. But still, you know, you have the ability to do and in the future we can. OK, so high risk activities. We can look around and high risk activity may generate significant amount of competitive advantage and these activities worth of investigating because the high return it can be generate. For example, a new types of mobile phone providing says GPS features to be used the traveling. 
may provide a significant competitive advantage for the company. The risk investing in it phone will worthwhile in terms of the benefit could be achieved. The point is therefore that the business does not take some risk. It will normally the limited the activity providing no competitive advantage. So risk the market failure to provide good customer require. Uh, market sectors overall decline and the company sees to trade impact can be credit the company credit rating decrease can be yes standard and poor going concern can be issues like you know company can't be sustained going concern mean the business will carry on doing business as a normal for foreseeable future risk what type of risk there Liquidity. Liquid is mean anything to cash or cash itself. Customer are not paying the quick, you know, enough. There is a poor credit rating. Yes, that can be impact, you know, on the company's profitability. Company may obtain material and need it to be for production or not pay for other input such as labor. The company may have to borrow at the higher rate of short term funding. So liquidity problem, the company cannot meet the commitment, which may lead the company failure. Yes, that's we need to. Legal, there is a breach of the regulation for suppose company act maybe, health and safety and environment. If we don't do, it can be in the impact. Regulation, reputation, if we don't follow it, pro production of poor quality material, it can be, and that loss of market share is extremely closure of the company can be. So that's why every action have some result of it. Business profit, so directors and officers receive a high bonus. It can be adverse publicity and possible by card the company product. Directive losses made forward ex exchange contract and the financial losses for the company can be. So that's we need to be look around and we have to make the plan in place for the change. Okay, if we don't do it, we can't succeed. We've been given here the freight company for with businesses, its container of the freight for the Heathrow Airport to around the world. It's a specialist in consolidating the freight, different suppliers. So it's good to be used example. All this charge, you know, the client over the shares of the airline flights, insurance, and this make the satisfactory fill 78%. And the international trade commerce been growing the past years, so slow rate management cost and because of the several major airlines have been suffering large losses and hoping you know to increase the price and suggest the risk map below. Okay, so we can look around the risk, you know, in that case is a high high airline flight cost, insufficient freight to fill the container and the major airline will be go out of business and downturn in the international trade. But if some, if one is closed, other is gain, somewhere some shares already there, the high probability, low probability, high probability and low each, you know, we can look around the chance of occurrence and we can map it. Okay, then 4.2, apply the risk, uh, apply the stakeholder. Stakeholders mean anybody who has any interest in the business is called stakeholders. When we change, you have to look around the every stakeholder's interest. Shareholder, director, managers, employees. Yes, potential loss of the value of investment we need to. Loss of the income maybe, they think. Link between an employees, you know, that's all we need to be look around to make the business more profitable. Other stakeholders are suppliers. Supplier always looking, they want to be faster payments. If the company is investing a lot of money and paying more salary, maybe we're not in a position to pay its supplier on time, we have a cash issues. Government, if the tax increase and the business, if the trade union and communities, how this affect, you know. So we need to be keep in mind all the effect, you know, change to be risk assessment. Because of the risk change over the time and the environment, the company operate with the both internal and external with the respect of the degree of the change. It face, you know, the risk assessment need to be updated regular and dynamic environment, the changing risk will lead to assessment of the probability and the impact of the risk map constantly altering. 
So what we need to look around the static, those are always there and the dynamic with change with the environment increasing. So your change needs to be accordingly. So there can be transformational and incremental change and we discuss the model of the chain. We discuss, you know, forces, uh, Levins and the quarter and various other authors we discuss, you know, in the lesson one and two. Okay, then we can look around, we can the high probability risk identification, scenario planning, sensitivity analysis, the C entry, these models we can use, computer simulation, software package, analyze the existing data to minimize the risk. These, you know, the package and the software and the techniques, you know, we can use it to minimize the risk and impact on our stakeholders. Okay, then next we have a 4.3 critically appraise the relevant strategy. We can pick the strategy. Another way of evolution can be explained can be organization learning system. However, within the incremental chain, there is a danger of the strategic drift because the change is based on the existing paradigm and routine of the organization. Even when the environmental or the competitive pressure might be so just need more fundamental change. Strategic chain, most managers struggle the question how bold they should be. On one hand, they usually rely that the fundamental transform organization, a break with the past is needed to achieve the strategic renewal, essential to be turned away from the firm heritage. Yes, start with the clean slate and underhand they recognize the value continuity building the past experience in investment and loyalty to achieve lasting strategic renewal so people in the organization will need time to learn adopt and grow into the new organizational reality okay these are when we want to be changed we need to look around the opportunity to achieving the revolutionary strategic change we can look around the competitive pressure. We can look around the regulatory preference and the first mover advantage if we want to change and we enter in the market, you know, that will help to achieve our organization objective effectively. Okay, guys, then there is a question about the leadership style, which we learn in other lessons as well. Leadership style, style it can be participative, yes, democratic, yes, you want power, cautions so all you know we need to look around education manipulation facilitation and sport negotiation your skills so it's a crucial so leadership should adopt the right style you know that will help you know to achieve the organization objective effectively otherwise we can struggle okay strategic leaders strategic mean long-term leaders the leader is mean anybody who has the ability to influence on that is called leader strategy is action plan strategic leaders are individual upon the whose strategy develop and the change are seems to be to dependent and they individually personally identify with the central strategy their organization and their personality reputation may be result others willing to deferring them and seeing the strategy themselves so that's really crucial think about steve job and other leaders yes how they change the organization okay then another when you change you have to be focused on the what your strategic capability is ability to do something you use the model vro value variety in imitability and organizational support is available or not you can do the SWOT analysis, strength, weaknesses, opportunity. What are the strategic capability we hold? How the strategic capability contribute to competitive advantage? How to diagnose, how to manage? All you have to, and other model we can use is called the resource-based view model for the competitive advantage and the change when we'll implement. So strategic capability is never stay the same. Abilities which carry on becoming redundant, we have carry on going to renew them. Resources, okay. In competency, we need to be focused. That's why, you know, we discuss in other lessons, star method of interview. Huh? So what we're looking, resources, these are, yes, machinery, balance sheet, cash, financial, human. In competency, the way achieving, utilize the plant, ability to raise funds, and how the people gain and use experience skills, you know, between people and long term for survival and competitive advantage can be created if we have, you know, 
Okay, capability can be redundant. If we don't do dynamic, it means capability should be changed, continuous improvement, training and development. Generic dynamic capability, sensing, we should do sensing, we seizing them, our re reconfiguration, how we interact with different department to your with different technology threshold, capability minimum threshold, or we call the benchmark in the industry. Distancy, we can, or we can be winner in the industry can we create so always look the resources competence show competency intensive and the resources required the core competencies of course what are the core skills required in any roles that we need to be indicates sustainability is ability we if we want to sustain we need to look around the vro model to create the competitive advantage value do the capability exist and the value to the customer priority do the capability exist that no other fewer comp competitors possess in immutability are the capabilities difficult and costly to competitor to obtain organization support appropriate organize exploit the capabilities to utilize their abilities we have to create the competitive advantage we have to use that model you have to ask the question each you know yes and then we can look around when we make the business strategies then we can look around the risk of it attitudes this capacity, how much we can be a risk strategy, we have residual, what you know can be. Okay, so if any, anything, it can be participation, involvement, quarter set out the following approaches, we can participation and involvement, education and communication, facilitation and support, manipulation and cooperation and negotiation and agreement. If we do, you know, we can achieve what we're supposed to be achieved in the chain process. That's for implementation is a crucial thing. Okay, other than guy, I drew, I copy the link for you to be just copy these links, you know, make sure please you do reading and it's quite good to watch and go through implementation change by change is important. Those organizations don't change what sort of uh, losses can be. Yeah? If we don't do it, it can create a problem for us. Okay, any question? Okay, guys, if anybody, any question, please make sure drop me email on my email address. Anyam at ukvst.co.uk and I'll go through with you and uh, we can discuss further. Okay, thanks for attending and listening this lesson. And uh, if you have any question here, my email. And uh, we'll go through next lesson, LO5, and then we'll go through the lesson, our assignment discussion. Thank you. Bye-bye.